Aloha everyone and welcome to the Leilani Estates update for July 1st, 2018. Let me get started by apologizing for the last few days not having any video content for y'all to watch. Um, I need to take a few me days again. Uh, Got to do that every once in a while uh, to stay, you know, healthy and happy. So with that said, uh, let me get into uh, the current update. There's a few things that uh, need to be touched on. Um, but not uh, a lot of changes at this time. So first, let's talk about Fissure 8. Fountains from Fissure 8 spatter cone continue to supply lava to the open channel with intermittent small, short-lived overflows. These overflows rarely extend beyond the existing flow field. No active overflows were observed during this morning's helicopter's overflight, and the spatter cone is now about 55 meters or 180 feet tall at its highest point, which signifies there's been no relative change there. At the coast, the northern margin of the flow field is still oozing pasty lava at several uh, points in the uh, uh, Kapaho uh, beach lots area. Lava was entering the sea over a broad area this morning, primarily on the northern side of the entry area. As shown by the June 29th thermal map of the flow field, the lava channel has crusted over about 0.8 kilometers or 0.5 miles inland of the ocean entry. Lava oozing from the flow's molten interior into the ocean along most uh, of its broad front. Fissure 22 is back in the update. It, it is spattering about 50 to 80 meters above the conical spatter cone and feeding a short lava flow that is moving slowly to the northeast along the edge of, the, of earlier flows. Up at the Kilauea Volcano Summit, after the collapse explosive event at 2.51 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time yesterday, June uh, 30th, 2018, seismicity dropped uh, abruptly from a high of 25 to 30 earthquakes per hour uh, prior to the collapse explosion down to five or fewer quakes per hour afterwards. Uh, this morning, the summit seismicity is at 25 to 35 quakes per hour as we await the next collapse explosive event. Inward slipping, excuse me. In inward slumping of the rim and walls of Halima'uma'u continue in response to ongoing substance at the summit. Back to Leilani Estates, the current EPA gas sensors uh, readings are for the Kapono Street sensor uh, at 8.25 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. It was reading 0 parts per million for sulfur dioxide and 0 parts per million for uh, hydrogen sulfide. The sensor located at Highway 130 and Leilani Avenue uh, currently reads as of 8.28 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, 0 parts per million for sulfur dioxide and 0 parts per million for hydrogen sulfide. Finally, in community news, thanks to the efforts of uh, residents in the evacuation zone, uh, which approached the uh, CD, Hawaii Civil Defense, uh, were able to establish uh, agreements and procedures for allowing them to enter their houses uh, on a periodic basis to do maintenance, you know, possible yard work if needed, or, or whatever, basically check on the home, do the things that they need to do there in order to, to maintain the property at least to some level while they're not able to occupy it. So that actually started happening about a week ago, uh, which is great news, uh, especially for those residents that's, uh, that need to have access to those properties. Uh, so that's been taken care of. Well, that's pretty much it for this update. Remember, um, I do have all my photography that I, I do share and is available for purchase on my SmugMug account, which is doinghawaii.smugmug.com, and my Redbubble account where you can get t-shirts, phone cases, and, and other select items uh, with the photography available on it as well. You can find links to all that, of course, in the description uh, to this video. Uh, again, thank you for listening, and I appreciate it. Uh, this has been the Leilani Estates update for July 1st, 2018.